This is Taking Stock. I'm Pim Fox. Now, for the next 45 minutes or so, we're going to investigate the state of the middle market, investing and lending. Now, we're talking about companies that bring in anywhere from 10 to $30 million of earnings before they have to pay interest, taxes, depreciation, and amortization. And who better to talk about this essential sector? It's the backbone of the American economy. Who better to talk about it than Leonard Tenenbaum? He is the CEO and president of Fifth Street Finance, a firm that makes its living lending to these companies. He's also served on the boards of directors of companies such as Einstein Noah's Bagels, Assisted Living Concepts, and West Tower Communications. He knows the industry. Len, welcome to the program. Thank you very much for coming in and spending time with us to organize this whole program. Thanks for having us, Pam. Talk a little bit about the market right now because everyone says the banks, the big banks, we hear Jamie Dimon, we hear the executives, the government coming in and saying there's plenty of money available. Is it actually reaching small Small and mid-sized companies. You know, it's just starting. It starts at the very large side, and it gets down down to the middle market. Eventually, it gets to the smaller market. And so it's just starting to hit it. And the way it's the way it gets there is through us. So Wells Fargo gives us a credit line for 50 million. We go out and slice that into 15 million dollar loans to smaller companies, or 20 million dollar loans. And is that actually happening now? I mean, are you getting those kinds of facilities? We are starting to put them in place. We're starting to lend. Uh, the banks are lending about two and a half times earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation, amortization, the, what you laid out before. And they used to lend three, four, five times. So it's, they've still contracted their lending, but they are lending to an extent. But there used to be other players in the market, too, right? Because it used to be a situation where everybody wanted to get into this business. So as a result, prices were pretty rich. That's right. There were a lot of other players. Allied Capital just got bought by Aries. They used to be one of the bigger players in the market. There were a number of CLO firms, whether it was D.B. Zwern or others that are gone from the market. New Star is pretty much gone from the market. What so, about hedge funds? They were interested in this space, too, right? Hedge funds are basically gone because they can't slice the pieces into what they call collateralized loan obligations, or CLOs. That is basically still gone from the market. It may come back, but not yet. The loans exist, but the actual marketplace of buying and selling them, that's no more. And, our, and the demand for loans still exists. And so what fills that demand? What fills that middle market void? And that's what some of the BDCs are able to accomplish, like us and some other ones that have capital, can start filling that void which exists in the middle market. Because M&A activity is coming back. Talk about the sort of definitions, because when you mention the middle market, there are a lot of ways in which you provide financing, because it's not just one loan fits all. And we're going to talk about covenants in a second, but what about, let's say, a first lien or a second lien? What does that actually mean for a company? And many people don't understand this, so this is a very important uh, conversation, and one that everybody should pay attention to if you're going to invest in the business development sector. There are first lien loans, which mean we have a first claim on the assets. There are second lien loans, which means we have a second claim behind the bank. And the bank doesn't always act in the most rational manner when there's a problem. You think so? Really? <laughs> Imagine that. So, Why? What, what, what have you, just give, can you give us an anecdote or just an example of how a bank might act irrationally? Well, we have a company even today where the bank basically is in a $5 million senior loan and we're second lien loan. And the bank uh, decides not to extend credit anymore to this company because they have other loans with the, with the person or with a private equity sponsor that are not doing well. So this company's fine. There's nothing wrong with this company. The operations are doing just fine. The management's terrific. But because of a total relationship, because of something else going on in a big bank, they're taking it out on this company in conjunction with all the other loans in their portfolio. Sounds like collateral damage. It is. And so what we're stepping in and saying is, look, we will have to buy you out if you don't act rationally. And that's what a second lien loan lender needs to be able to do, is purchase the first lien loan when they're not acting rationally. And that's very important for private equity sponsors to be able to allow the second lien loan lenders to do that. And it's a good thing for us partners to be able to do that. And you've got to be in on the daily business and the operation of the company in order to participate in that Absolutely. way. Absolutely.